Welcome in to NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we have the top destinations for Josh Jacobs if the Raiders were to move on from Josh Jacobs amid the contract talks that are going on with the deadline coming up tomorrow for a long-term extension. We'll tell you everything you need to know about the situation coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do... Watch it to weigh in. Where will Josh Jacobs play this upcoming season? Will it be back in Las Vegas with the Raiders or somewhere else? Predicted for me. Let us know in the comment section below where you think Josh Jacobs is going to end up, and we'll get started with today's show. So I have five destinations of where Josh Jacobs could go if he is indeed traded. And this situation, folks, uh, is gotten a little crazy with Josh Jacobs, right? Here's a guy that is extremely talented, coming off the best season of his career, but the way the running back market went across the board around the NFL could not have been worse timing for a guy like Josh Jacobs trying to get paid and stay on this team. Listen to this. This is from ESPN's Adam Schefter earlier today. Now that uh, the Jags, their tight end, Evan Ingram, has a new three-year deal. There are three remaining franchise players seeking long-term deals before tomorrow's deadline at 4 p.m. Eastern time. What do they all have in common? They're all running backs. Saquon Barkley, Josh Jacobs, and Tony Pollard. And of those three, Jacobs is the most likely, I think, to get moved because he's on by far the worst of those three teams and a team that doesn't have a very bright future right now that is just a mess of an organization, the Las Vegas Raiders. If you're Pollard with the Cowboys or Saquon with the Giants, there's more incentive to keep you around because you're closer to being competitive and getting to where you want to go. The Raiders uh, are much closer to the bottom than they are the top at this point in time. So here's five things you need to know about this situation. Deadline for a long-term deal, 4 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. If a deal is not done, then they cannot sign a long-term extension, and he would be a free agent next offseason. He can make $10.1 million on the franchise tag. Now, obviously, he doesn't have to sign said franchise tag. He could sit out, but that's at least what he would make if he were to play on the said tag. The Raiders declined Josh Jacobs' fifth-year option, uh, which – set up the situation that we see Jacobs in right now. He didn't attend OTAs or minicamp this offseason, but because he hasn't signed the franchise tag, it didn't hurt him. It didn't cost his uh, wallet uh, because of him not signing that as of this point in time of that franchise tag. And it's also worth noting, he would only lose money if he misses regular season games. So, of that $10.1 million, for every game he misses, a 17th of that goes by the wayside, essentially, with Josh Jacobs there uh, if he doesn't uh, end up playing and holds out as far as that goes. Uh, Jacobs, a former first-round pick out of Alabama. He was uh, a very good high school player coming out of McLean High School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Went on to be a two-time Pro Bowler as recently as this season, leading the NFL in rushing. Also was the Jim Brown Award winner this past season as well. And his statistics uh, back up exactly what we're talking about. He was fantastic with over 1,600 yards, close to five yards of carry and 12 touchdowns. The best season of his career so far this past year. The year prior, uh, in 15 games played at 872 yards, nine touchdowns, and four yards per carry there. So, wait in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Before we show you the five teams that I think are the favorites to make a trade for Josh Jacobs, what do you think? Should the Raiders extend Josh Jacobs to begin with? Should they say to themselves, you know what, maybe it's best for us to go ahead and move on, get something while we can for Josh Jacobs. We're going to be bad anyway. Or should they just go ahead and bite the bullet and pay Josh Jacobs and keep him around? Way in the comments section, tell me what you think. Why for yes, in for no, if the Raiders should extend Josh Jacobs or not.
Number one on our list is the Philadelphia Eagles, the reigning champions of the NFC. And I got to tell you, when you look at this Philadelphia Eagles team, they're going to be very, very good again. They don't necessarily need anyone. They don't need Josh Jacobs. But Howie Roseman is never content with his roster just being as is or just good enough to get by. We saw that last year with the aggressive moves that they made. When they were the best team in the NFC, clearly, during the regular season, they weren't just content with that. They added to that roster and went all in and came very close to bringing home a Super Bowl title to Philly. With Miles Sanders leaving, and I know you brought in Rashad Penny and all that, this would be an upgrade for this running back room a significant upgrade, not just from where it is now, but from where it was with Miles Sanders. And if you're looking for, I think, a compliment for Jalen Hurts, I think Josh Jacobs would be perfect for exactly what the Eagles want to do of running the football, establishing the run to open up the passing game. Josh Jacobs, I think, would be a natural fit as far as that goes. So, should the Eagles trade for Josh Jacobs? Weigh in the comments section. Tell me what you think. T for trade, P for pass. Should the Eagles make a move for Josh Jacobs or not? Let me know what you think in the comments section. T for trade, P for pass. Subscribe to NFL Daily by Chat Sports as we're talking about the NFL each and every day with the latest news and rumors. We do our fan-led mailbags. We do our live shows on Mondays. And we're going to do our Red Zone channel throughout the season as well. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment so you can be a part of what we're doing here on the channel. It's a lot of fun. We have a, a great time doing it. Not just myself, but our incredible team here from Tom to Sperry to everybody involved here, Chase Harrison. Everybody just loves doing this, and, and we, we do it because we care. Because You guys deserve the absolute best. We try to do our part to bring that to you here on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Subscribe now for free today. You'll be glad you did. Number two on our list is the Chicago Bears. And although the Bears are coming off a season where they had the worst record in the National Football League, there's reason to be optimistic about the Bears heading into 2023 and beyond. Now, for starters, they have the most cap space of anybody in the league. So not only could they make a trade, but they also could get an extension done pretty easily for Josh Jacobs. And they do need some relief of sorts in the run game. We talked about earlier with uh, the idea of Josh Jacobs being a nice compliment to Jalen Hurts. Well, you look at the Chicago Bears team, and as much as they demand out of Justin Fields, he was second on the team in rushing last year. If you add Josh Jacobs to that running back room, you're going to make life a lot easier on Justin Fields. Now, I like Khalil Herbert. I think Herbert's decent and, and all that. But now, all of a sudden, you bring in a guy like Josh Jacobs, and you're taking a huge step up offensively, as far as I'm concerned, and, and, and helping out your quarterback more than anything there. Number three is the Miami Dolphins. Now, the expectation was, I think, according to most people, that the Miami Dolphins would land Dalvin Cook. And then we heard the reports over the last week or so that Dalvin Cook ultimately turned down an offer to go to the Miami Dolphins. And so that leaves the Dolphins still searching for answers at this running back position. We've seen the Dolphins be aggressive. They're not afraid to spend money. They've kind of embraced the old L.A. Rams mentality of F them picks, right? But they still need some balance to complement their explosive passing game. We know what they have receiver-wise with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell and all that and how well they move the football through the air. But it's very obvious that they are lacking when it comes to that run game. And if you're willing to spend potentially on Dalvin Cook, why not go with the younger back and Josh Jacobs, potentially speaking? To me, that would bring some new life in, in a, a division that's an arms race, right? With what Buffalo has, the Jets, even the Patriots to an extent – uh, Miami's got to keep up. Got to keep up in the arms race, and Josh Jacobs would certainly help you keep up as far as that goes. Two more teams to get to in a second, but first, what team is the most likely to trade for Josh Jacobs? Weigh in the comments section. Tell me what team you think it is that's the most likely to make a move 
to bring Josh Jacobs to their organization. Tell me what you think in the comment section below of who that team is. NFL rookie jerseys are on sale now. Chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. Whether it's a guy like Anthony Richardson or C.J. Stroud or Devin Witherspoon, we have them all, and we have them all in one place. Chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. And now's a great time to get these rookie jerseys because you're going to get them at the very start of your favorite team and favorite player's career. And also, just when you talk about timing, you order them now, you get them in time for the NFL season. So you can wear these all season long. Get them now. They're hot. All supplies last. Chatsports.com slash NFL jersey to get yours today. That's chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. All right, uh, next on the list, we find the Denver Broncos. And the Denver Broncos, I think, heading into 2023 are under a lot of pressure. Some of the most pressure in the National Football League. And I know it's very rare that we see intra-division trades in the NFL, but it does happen every once in a while. We saw it last year with the Vikings and the Lions. Uh, with, with what they made there with uh, with TJ getting traded uh, there at the trade deadline. But hear me out on this as far as Denver goes. You already have Williams there. Uh, but having a running game that you can count on, having a couple of backs, and you know, Samaj P. Ryan is there as well, would be the best thing to help out Russell Wilson. Think about this. We're heading into 2023 with the biggest question marks we've ever seen around Russell Wilson, if he is good enough to get the job done. And I know that there's been this movement, this campaign for years of let Russ cook and all that, and and I understand. But if you're the Denver Broncos, where you're at right now, you can't let Russ cook. You have to have a good run game to help out Russell Wilson. And they got a lot of money, that organization does. And you look at this Denver Broncos team, I think in order to put Russell Wilson in the best position to succeed, you got to make sure that run game is ready to go, that it is in full force and at the best of its possibilities to limit the mistakes that Russell Wilson can make as far as that goes to make his life and his job easier, quite frankly. Last on this list, there might be a bit of surprise, is the Arizona Cardinals. And when you look at the Arizona Cardinals, this is a team that I think the expectation is among most people that they're going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL this season. Kyler Murray, we don't know when he's necessarily coming back at this point in time. But think about this. New head coach and, and everything there. If you were to add Josh Jacobs, all of a sudden, you've got a pretty decent foundation set to get this thing going. Even after D-Hop moves on and everything here, well, let's just say that for all intents and purposes, you add Josh Jacobs, you get Kyler Murray there, who I'm, I'm still a believer in, James Conner uh, there as well, Marquise Brown is a decent receiver, and you brought in Zach Ertz as well. All of a sudden, you got some building blocks. You got some pieces to put this thing together for the long term. So while things seem bleak in Arizona, and there's question marks about that team's future going forward, you can immediately 180 and flip the narrative about your team and your organization, where you're headed with a move like this, and all of a sudden have one of the best backfields in the league if you had Jacobs and Connor side-by-side -side together. So to recap, our five Josh Jacobs destinations include the Philadelphia Eagles, Chicago Bears, the Miami Dolphins, the Denver Broncos, and the Arizona Cardinals. Before we go, what team needs to trade for Josh Jacobs the most? And it doesn't have to be somebody we mentioned here. Could be somebody out there, else out there. What do you think? What team needs Josh Jacobs the most? Let me know in the comments section below. Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, threads as well, at Tyler Jones Live, talking about the NFL and all those social media platforms. And I shall see you next time right here on NFL Daily.